hello everyone you're welcome back to this youtube channel this is steve here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to access your 168 account on chrome now the reason why you need to access your 168 account on chrome browser is because translating the 168 application can be cumbersome at times because uh, the high translate application doesn't work on certain phones certain version of phones and android users cannot use it as well and when you come to google translate app there are still some few phones that it may not function the way we expect and that necessitated that you will be you will have to access your account via chrome now chrome has an amazing function that allow you to automatically translate any website from its original language to english and that is the function that is necessitating us to use or access our 168 account on chrome so that we will be able to translate everything on that particular website and be able to see it in english now without wasting time i want to head over to your chrome browser and you may ensure that the chrome browser is actually the latest version now you're going to click for you to know that your chrome browser is the latest version just go to your google play store or your app store and then you search for chrome if you are using iphone just go to apple store and then you search for chrome so if you can see open here it means that your chrome is the latest version but if you see update it means your chrome is not the updated version so you need to click the update button that you will see there and then you update the chrome browser now the reason why you want to up update the chrome browser is because this translate function we are going to use here is only available on latest version of chrome if you are using a lower version or an outdated version of chrome browser which is not up to date you will not be able to see this button so having said that we are now going straight to how you can access your 168 account on chrome so you are going to first of all type 1688.com on chrome on the search bar of your chrome browser and then you click the search button and what you need to pay close attention here is um the link you are seeing on top of that page you can see my own has automatically taken me to login.tabar.com on top here and there are times when you search for this 168.com you'll be seeing something like home.168.com on the search bar if you are seeing it you will not be able to see this kind of page then you are going to click here and then you click on this edit button so you edit that link and then you remove any other thing you have away leave only 1688.com you get so from there you'll be able to see this kind of page now there are times when if you search for it two buttons are going to come up on your screen like this and then if they come out like this you're going to click by the left which says close pop-up so when you close pop-up it will take you to the page so if the page doesn't look like this you're just going to click on login but if automatically takes you here the same way my own has taken me then that means you are good you just proceed to what i'm going to do next now i've treated how to access this account using your Taba account and login password but most people were unable to do it the good news is that many who could follow the instruction carefully were able to do it now for the sake of those of you who couldn't do it you have to pay close attention now first of all you're going to tap on this plus 86 this plus 86 here which is the country code for chinese and then you're going to select your own country accordingly and mine is nigeria So I will just select Nigeria and then next I'm going to enter my phone number which I used on my 1688 app before. 
Now, what you want to do here is that the phone number you used on a Lippy and once you say it application before is the exact phone number you're going to use here. Don't do mistake on that phone number. Don't go and use a different phone number. Let me repeat again. The same phone number you already use on once you say it application and the Lippy app is the same phone number you're going to use here. Don't use a different phone number don't use a different phone number there's a reason why i'm repeating because i know the shaker i've been seeing on my whatsapp so you will enter the phone number and then you click login and then this page will pop up like this and you want to click to agree so just click on agree button and then you allow it to load and then they will take you here now before you could wait for that verification code they have already taken it away meaning they are giving you a different method of verification now this is where you need to pay very very close attention like very very and very close attention if you are playing music at the background of your of your wherever you are sitting off it if you are staying where there is noise move away now focus on what we are doing you are going to take a screenshot of this particular page and i'm going to be very very slow take a screenshot now go to your google translate application if you are attending my master class by now you should have google translate because i sent all the application we needed for this training on the first day of the master class now you're going to head over to your Google Translate application and then you open it. And by the video that I showed how to install Google Translate app, I already shown everything how you're going to set it up. Ensure that in the left hand side is showing detect language or Chinese language. If it is showing detect language, you are good. It means any language that you're uploading there can detect and translate to English. But if you are having a different language by the left, then you are going to change it to Chinese language. Now, if you are seeing two types of Chinese, whether Chinese traditional and Chinese simplified, select Chinese simplified. But if you see only one Chinese, leave it only on one Chinese. If you are seeing only one Chinese, just leave it like that. And then by the right here, you are having English, meaning you are translating toward English now the feature we're going to use here is this camera icon here so i'm going to click on this camera icon here and then i will tap on these images here now if you haven't used camera icon on this google translate app before they will ask you for permission that do you want google translate to assess your media or your storage you just say allow because you want to what? pick up an image from your media storage yeah, so you're just going to click on this image icon here and then it's going to bring out that recent screenshot you have taken now you're going to pay close attention and upload that latest screenshot that you have taken there you can see now see the after translating read the instruction that you have here what did they say they say drag the slider and release after three complete balloons appear now i'm going to return to this page and funny enough before i could return here they have already taken the page away because i wasted time over there explaining things to you now if you waste time they are going to return you back so you're going to do it more faster so i'm now going to select my country again I will still enter the phone number again. I will click login. I will click agree. And then I will have to now be a bit fast about it. And then I will still take this screenshot afresh. Now, the reason why I'm taking this screenshot is because what was given to me initially is different from what they are giving now. So I will still rush to my Google Translate app. And then I will upload again drag the slider and release after a complete basket appears so they say is a what a complete basket so you can see i can now find the page because i have returned very quick so they say once a complete basket appear see the complete basket here i will return it very close to the basket and then i will leave it
you can see they have marked correct don't drag this in till the end i repeat don't drag it till the end i repeat again don't drag it till the end drag exactly as you are instructed don't drag it till the end i'm begging you don't drag it till the end because i almost cried on my whatsapp today 5493 they have sent the code to me 5493 And boom they're asking me for my ID number the reason why they're asking me for my ID number is because I have verified my Alipay account with my passport okay immediately I enter the ID number here it will take me into my 168 account which is the same as Taba account now if your account wasn't if you didn't upload any ID on that application that is on your Alipay they won't ask you this stage immediately you enter the code they will take you straight into your account so the reason why they're asking is to confirm my identity whether i'm the one accessing this account on this particular device on this particular website here now i'm going to pause this and then enter my uh, id and then i will get back here once i'm done doing that so i just finished entering my passport and this is my passport number and this is where they are taking me to so i will drag from left to right to the extreme end and boom here i am i've logged in successfully now this message is popping up here they're asking you that Okay, let me not just let me cut it very short. They are requesting access to open your 1688 application. Now, if you want to use this Chrome, then you are going to click by the left here, which says close pop-up. Let me translate so that you can see in English. The left button means close pop-up. So I close it and boom. I'm having everything here in English. Everything here is now in English. Now you can easily tap up here and then you see this translate button here. You click on it to translate the entire page to English, which is the main function why we were struggling to access the word once the data account on Chrome. And if you are using iPhone, you will click this uh, three dotted line by the right down corner of your screen. And then you scroll up to look at translate thank you guys for staying to the end so if you are watching this video to this extent it means you have gotten massive value here can you smash the like button subscribe and turn on notification we keep posting videos here about importation exportation digital marketing e-commerce and many other of uh, digital skills that you need to earn money online from the comfort of your home i'm signing out guys